So there, these are the steps that you need to take to finish your submission and pass it in by hopefully Monday morning. Project guide, we used it all and we did the final stages over a couple of days and we did all this, but you didn't quite finish the HTML cover page. So if you want to look through all of this, this to make sure that you've done it, by all means do. But the big thing we've got to do is this stage, which I'm now going to describe to you in a video just because it's been a while since we did it. But ultimately you want to get a page that looks like this and all the links work. So the first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to find your folder. Here's mine and it should look like this. It should have documentation as a folder, subfolder, product as a subfolder, and it should have well, A through E should be exactly named as these PDFs are, and then your appendices are going to be named according to what you got for appendices. So that's the documentation folder. It should be intact. The, your product folder doesn't necessarily have to have the unzipped folders, but it does, <coughs> excuse me, does have to have the zipped up NetBeans project and the zipped up app. And again, that we did. If you need help doing things like that, then you'll have to come see me individually. But uh, that's the product, and then these two. The video will be outside of both of the folders and so will this cover page. And by the way, if you open up your cover page and it's just all screwed up, you can't get it to work, use this. Use the one that I've actually got here. So let me um, open it up. So here we were and you are going to use text edit. So you're going to go file, open, you're going to go options, ignore rich text commands. Remember this and open up that HTML cover page. Among the things I'm going to suggest to you in this video is to widen it so that you can see more clearly what you've got. Uh, this is slightly different than what you probably got because there's a bunch of extra stuff that I just got rid of and I formatted it much better. So again, if you want to use this fresh copy that I'll attach as an email attachment to you know, the email I'll send you on Saturday night, then go for it. Just re all you got to do, right? This is ready to go. All you got to do is, let's just open it up actually. All you got to do is basically replace the links of those and those two, and then change your credentials up here. That's it, right? So to help you out, remind you uh, what you had uh, done before and the way this HTML works, there are rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, and some spacer rows. That's it, and a couple of columns. So you look at, which one is this one, solution title? Let's look at one that has a link. This one is planning, and then the criteria A planning. So planning, so this is the row, planning and the link. There's planning, just a regular, whatever it is, uh, TD, and then the link with the href. So you can fix up yours, or just replace all the links with what you know are your links. So, and I'll just use the planning as an example. Planning, planning, there's planning, so yours should be criteria planning. Yeah, I guess what I should do is one of the appendices. So let's say that you have an appendix called appendix underscore one interview one. It's going to go here where the appendices are right here. So this, it's a PDF, so I'll take the full title of it, copy it, and I'll put it, well, I guess what I'm going to have to do here is give myself another row, so copy, paste, just fix up the formatting a little bit. And so this is the link. This is the document. It's in documentation. So there it is. All right? The link of the path to appendix underscore one underscore interview underscore one will now work right here on this extra uh, row. So if I refresh this, I'll save this. Hope you're following all this. It's not that big a video. If I refresh this, there will be an extra row right here, and there it is. So hopefully that's enough 
that you're able to put together as much of this as you can. One thing that will cause you major grief, and I do believe it happened to us last time, is this idea of the smart quotes. I'm pretty sure it happened to one person, and it'll probably happen to more of you if you're using text edit. These quotes all have to be just regular, plain old-fashioned quotes, and if you start typing in text edit, quite often they'll put smart quotes. So, and then you wonder which are the good ones. This is a good one. I put a comment up at the top of this HTML document, which I'm going to attach an email I'm going to send to you shortly, uh, and it's got uh, one of the quotes that works. So, I don't know if there's anything else to tell you, but uh, do your best. Uh, I guess the best thing to do would be to, to compress all of this and send it as an attachment. So, you should know how to do that, but just, you know how to do that. You know how to do that. Just, where is this one, I guess? So, you're going to going to zip it, compress, and send me that on Monday morning. And whatever you can't do, talk to me.